Hello, I'm John Mamias, executive producer at CD Project Red, and welcome back to our continued development diary series on The Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings, and now the Enhanced Edition. Today we're going to delve into some of the new features we've created for the Enhanced Edition. To allay some of the story complexity, we've created some new cinematic sequences and spread them throughout the game. Our partner, Platige Image, will first talk about the new intro that we've created, and after that, our cinematics and our producer will talk about more of the cinematic sequences in the game. Just after finishing The Witcher 1, uh, CD Projekt came to us with the idea of the intro for The Witcher 2, and it was quite a long time ago, it was like three years ago, and Witcher 2 wasn't even there, it, it was just an idea. The intro fills in an important piece of the backstory. Those who've played The Witcher 2 uh, might remember that uh, King Demaven's death at the hand of an assassin is uh, something of a known fact at or near the beginning of the game. The intro shows exactly how that happened, and it shows it in spectacular fashion. From the very, very early stages, we knew what will happen in the intro. Uh, we also quite early knew where it will happen, because the, the idea of the action happening on the boat uh, was very fr very early in the process and it came directly from uh, CD Projekt. One of the very early ideas was that who is the assassin is using a hornet nest to start a chaos on the boat and he's using this chaos to, to kill the king and escape from the boat. But I wasn't sure that it would uh, really work as a cinematic ex experience and uh, after some discussions with Adam Badowski and some other people in CD project, we came with the idea of the ice bomb. At the beginning we see the ship, the party, the jesters fooling around, uh, then there's a freezing of the ship and the havoc that the assassin creates uh, among the crew members. We wanted this final moment, crowning the whole action, uh, to be really brutal, raw and ugly. I've realized that it will be so much more interesting and there will be so much more tension if we actually make the assassination during the collapsing of the ship. And this idea was, was very late in the process. Uh, it, it was after all the stages of ac ac acceptation and uh, it already changed everything, but we loved it so much in, the, in Platige and the people in CD Projekt also loved the idea that we decided like a week before the start of the production to change this detail which actually changed everything. You see individual steps, muscle movements, slashes, and, and twinkles in the eye that express ferocity or fear. And they're all important. They all bring in a mountain of meaning. They, they suck you in and, and draw you to the edge of your seat and bam. Three and a half minutes and you know you're going to have one badass motherfucker to contend with. Besides the CG intro, we prepared a lot of new other video sequences. One of them are the loading movies. Uh, they were constructed to summarize what happened in the previous act and create a smooth transition to the next one. Grabbing Geralt, I embarked on a voyage upriver, deeper into the Pontar Valley. We also added 11 new cutscenes, all placed in the various places of the game. I can tell that three of them are showing what's going on in Lockwin when Geralt is busy with a dragon and the rest of them are connected with the new content of the game. Another uh, type of video sequences that we prepared for the Enhanced Edition are the final boards. 
these are the short movies uh, that uh, are combined at the end of the game into one big movie that summarizes what happened in the game. Depending on the player choices, you can end up with 12 versions of those movies. Especially for this part of the game, we composed new music and recorded it with a live choir. The Witcher had traveled far and wide in search of the Kingslayers. Along the way, he had met both the Righteous and Scoundrels, Bernard Laredo amongst the latter. Additionally, we've prepared a completely new outro for the game. It was fully rendered on our own technology, Red Engine. And right from the start, we decided it was going to take place in a whole new location. So, yeah, we created a whole new location for it, which includes like uh, new trees, new bushes, everything, just to have it geologically different. Uh, we also wanted to create this perfect view, and uh, I think we achieved it is with this bridge that goes across a river, there's a forest on each uh, side of the river, there's a mountain far off in the distance, it looks absolutely stunning and I hope you guys will like it. So we've only just scratched the surface of the new content we're adding to Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings Enhanced Edition. Stay tuned for the next Dev Dio where we talk about the new gameplay mechanics as well as the new quests and the new characters.